Catherine, it's just day one of this trial, but it didn't take long for tempers to fray yeah, inside court. That's right. There has already been a battle on this first day of the Clearstream trial, as well as all the preliminary proceedings. Lawyers for Dominique de Villepin, the former French president, say that they don't believe that some of the case, at least against their client, is eligible to be heard. They say that Nicolas Sarkozy, as a French president, shouldn't, in principle, be a plaintiff in this case. And they say that's because he's the head of the head of state, so therefore he's immune from prosecution himself, and also that he has some direct authority over state prosecutors there. L lawyers for Dominique de Villepin are saying this wouldn't be a free and fair trial. Well, as you can imagine, Nicolas Sarkozy's lawyers straight away hit back at that. They said that the president is a citizen like anyone else and he's allowed to press charges if he wants to. And they said, quote, that access to court is a fundamental right. So then the, uh, the judges uh, suspended proceedings for a bit to try and consider this dilemma. They came back with a decision that was well, really a non-decision, really. They said this dilemma will be judged, along with the rest of proceedings, at the end of the trial. So we're going to carry on as normal. But there is still the chance that uh, Nicholas Sarkozy, as a plaintiff, that that could be ruled ineligible. So, Catherine, you've got all these arguments happening before the trial really gets underway in earnest. And yet it's only set down for four weeks. Is that going to be long enough? Well, that's a good question, Owen. The Clearstream trial is, I'm afraid, anything but clear. There are 41 plaintiffs in this case, five defendants and throngs and throngs of lawyers. And they're all about to set and try and unpick this very complex web of accusations dating way back uh, into the year 2004. That was the year that it was first uh, brought to the attention of a French judge by an anonymous letter. So there was, as you can imagine, lots and lots of evidence to go through. Inside the courtroom, the judge has just been detailing some of the facts that have already been established. And some of it is very technical because it's based on computer records of bank listings. So there's questions of who got hold of these listings, when and how. It's going to be a complex trial.